everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I have another huge book haul for you. I don't know what I'm titling this yet. All I know is that I have a problem and I'm choosing to share it with you because make me feel better about it. Make it okay. Tell me these are all phenomenal, I made good choices, and then I won't feel so bad about it. So I'm gonna jump into it. I have five packages in front of me of books that I've ordered from either Book Outlet or Book Depository. And then I have a in-store Barnes & Noble's order as well as two Book Depository books that I bought and already opened because I wanted to start reading. So let's get into it. One Day by David Nichols, which I have read. I had an ebook version of this and I needed a physical copy. The one thing that really bummed me out is that I couldn't find a physical copy of this that wasn't the movie trailer or like the movie version. And even this one also has up here like now a motion picture starring Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis, which bothered me because the original cover was like still this but without this little pink thing. Couldn't find one without that. So that seriously bothers me because I don't know if this is going to be a popular opinion or not, but I just don't like Anne Hathaway. And I loved this book so much. I cried so hard, was inconsolable for so long reading this book. It is by far one of my favorite books of all time to the point where I have not seen the movie and I refuse to see the movie. I will not see it because I will not taint this book. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I also picked up because it was on sale. This was in the discounted bin. So this was $5.98. And this is Us by David Nichols. Basically follows this couple and like the decline of their relationship and their children, I think. I don't know. I just I love his writing style. I loved One Day so much that I wanted to give another one of his books a go. And seeing as it was a bargain discount book, I picked it up. I also picked up while I was there The Lumineers. And this is by Eleanor Catton. I've heard really great things about this. It is not my genre. Like it's not a book that I thought I would actually really enjoy, which makes picking it up weird, right? Um, but this was also a bargain book. So this was $5.98 as well. And I figured for $5.98, why not give it a read? It's about an 1866 gold rush. I don't really do historical fiction very often. So this is definitely outside my comfort zone, but I figured I would pick it up for that discounted price because I have heard such good things about it. And then next up, I have two books that continue a series, and that is Sweet Peril by Wendy Higgins and Sweet Reckoning by Wendy Higgins. This completes the Sweet series, starting with Sweet Evil. So I already finished the first one. I'm about I think I got about 20 more pages left of this one. I'm flying through them. They're just a quick, fun, easy read. Um, nothing too serious. I enjoy them. Now comes all the boxes, guys, all the boxes. So let's start with the baby bag. This is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. And I don't know very much about this, except that I've seen this in a couple different people's reviews. So I believe this is a new adult romance, but I'm not 100% sure. Seems like it's about dragons and looks from the front to be like a Sleeping Beauty kind of retelling, but she has to like give herself up for 10 years of servitude, which feels very Beauty and the Beastie to me. So it seems like it's a mix of like fantasy and adult sexy time. I'm not sure. I could feel bad about this. Like I could feel shame. Shame, Julie, shame for buying all these. I don't. So this one was a Barnes and Nobles order. So these are two books in the Royals series. So I got Paper Princess and Broken Prince. These are both by Aaron Watt. And from what I understand about these as well, they are adult romance books. I have some very intimidating TBRs back there. I have a lot of series and a lot of darker books or heavier books or very high fantasy in-depth world building books that I have to go through. So I decided to indulge in a couple of just steamy, mindless reads and these kept coming up. So people kept talking about these and I figured that I would give them a try. Although honestly it's about a girl who used to be a stripper I believe who ends up going to a mansion with like this guy and his kids it seems like all the sexy time could be happening, but also like, is that the best kind of way to start sexy time? I don't know. I'm not sure. So we'll have to see how those go. But again, I just wanted something fun. 
And then we have a book depository order. So this is The Beauty of Darkness. This is the final book of the Remnant Chronicles. I believe, I think it's just a trilogy. So this would be the final one. Somewhere in this, I'm pretty sure is the second one, but I do have the first one back here. So I did pick up the third one. This is a big old book, guys. So I don't know very much about this series other than a princess runs away, she doesn't want to get married, the prince and an assassin both go after her, and then she doesn't know which is which, although I believe that's revealed eventually, and then the relationships and the world and things go from there. So this is the last book of that series. So that's the other thing I will tell you as I get into my book outlet box. I ordered so much that I don't think this is everything. I'm pretty sure there's more coming. It's just a matter of having all of these boxes building up and having to actually haul them so that it doesn't get insane in terms of length of videos. So I got the Wicked series by Melissa Marr and I believe I've already read these. I read them on my Nook but I enjoyed them and again Faye I will read anything Faye so I did pick these up so I believe it starts with what does it start with? I don't know. So this is Fragile with a new short story inside. And then The Darkest Mercy is the last book of the series, which I know I haven't read. And then I have Radiant Shadows, which is another one in the series. But again, I don't know the orders of any of these. So these are all Book Outlet. Book Outlet are ridiculously cheap books, but it's whatever's there is what you get. It's not a full stock and there's only so many copies of each book. So you kind of have to get them while you can. So it's kind of hit or miss, but I found a whole bunch at the same time that I liked. So I did place an order. And if it's not a full series, I'll collect them or finish them later. So I don't think I got any more in this series. So it's just these. So this is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and this is by Michelle Hodkin. And I'm excited to give it a read. I know it's like a spooky, I think she can just think you dead. So we'll see. I might try to sneak this into my October TBR. Then I have Every Heart a Doorway, which is a little tiny shorty shorty book. This is by Shannon, Shannon, Shannon McGuire. I believe it's Shannon McGuire. Shannon, 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 Shannon McGuire. I'm sorry, but I know that this is about kids that I think have been like abducted or gone to like this other world and then they don't know how to acclimate back into our world, so they go to this home for kids that have all kind of been taken. And it's super, super, super tiny, but I got this for only a couple dollars, so I'm excited to give this one a read. It seems like it might be a really fun, interesting read, so I might throw that into my October TBR as well if I can. And then I have The Great Hunt because cover. I don't know what this is about. This is by Wendy Higgins, who I do enjoy. Again, I got the rest of the Sweet series. So I know I like her writing style. It's just easy for me to read. It's fun. It's enjoyable. I don't have to think. So this one, I don't know anything about, but it says breathtaking adventure, high stakes fantasy, and romance to last the ages. And again, cover. I, I can't. Kill the Beast, Win the Girl. I don't know what it is about, but I'm intrigued. I want to read it. It looks gorgeous. The series that everybody goes crazy about, The Infernal Devices. So I got this series. They had a couple different books on Book Outlet. They had different covers and different options, but this was the only cover option that they had all three in and I didn't want to risk having like unmatching sets. So I got Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I got Clockwork Prince, Cassandra Clare. And then I got Clockwork Princess, again, Cassandra Clare. So I know that I got this on my e-reader. I've already read Clockwork Angel and I will be honest, I stopped reading the Shadowhunter series. Things got crazy, like too crazy. When you're in a house that starts moving and jumping time and going bananas, I'm out. Um, so I stopped. I didn't actually finish that series. But I did enjoy the premise and I did enjoy the world. And I'm hoping that this kind of redeems itself because this first book that I read, I did actually enjoy. So I'm hoping that I continue to love the rest of them as well. I'm honestly unsure about whether or not I read Clockwork Prince. 
So I'll probably just reread all of them and marathon through because I know for sure I didn't get to Clockwork Princess. I know I didn't finish out the series. I just don't know if I got past the first one or not. So I am excited. I actually kind of like these. You know, they're all kind of down on their knees and they just look like really gorgeous covers. So I was excited to get this set. I know that there's a ton of different sets and a ton of different covers for these. So that is everything in this haul, as if that wasn't enough. It's plenty, right? I know I have more coming. Like I'm certain I have more coming because I know for sure there's some that I ordered that I didn't see in this one. So you may see me in a different outfit doing a continuation of this haul before I publish it, going on a no buy after this. No more library books only, which I have still been getting. I've been listening to like audiobooks from the library. So it's not like I'm not using my library card. I'm using my library card. I've just been going a little cray. So I'm going to rain. And I told you that I knew that there was more packages coming. Those packages came literally the next day. So I waited until I had time, did my makeup, sat back down. So I'm going to pick up this pile from the ground and let's get started. I mean, I hold a lot the last time. I've got, I have more guys, all the more. Did she hold that many books the first time. She probably only has a couple for the following video. No. No, I don't. I have a ton. Let's start with this little guy. This did come from Book Depository. Ooh, Wicked Lovely. This is one of the Wicked series. So this is by Melissa Marr and I have already read this series, but I decided to go ahead and get it in paperback book because I did enjoy it. It is a paranormal romance with Faye and I love Faye. I legitimately love pretty much anything Faye. So I was all aboard with this book series. This is the first one I believe in the series. Book Depository, if you don't know, is a UK based company that has books and they're pretty discounted. They've got free international shipping and sometimes they're cheaper than Barnes and Nobles and Amazon here. And you can get like really fun UK covers. So I order from there a lot, a lot more than I should. And coming from the UK, the shipping is never, it doesn't take that long. It's usually not that bad. I got the Heart of Betrayal. This is by Mary E. Pearson. This is a continuation of The Kiss of Deception and The Dark, The Beautiful Darkness. So this is a part of the Remnant Chronicles. This is book number two of the Remnant Chronicles. And now I do have all three in hardback copy. And this was ridiculously inexpensive. It was actually cheaper to get it from Book Depository and have it shipped internationally for free than it was to get it on like Barnes and Nobles or some of the other sites that I was looking at. And they hadn't had this one yet on um, Book Outlet. So I figured I would give it a go because I really wanted to have the whole trilogy. And now I have all three of them and I can get started at some point. I'm collecting this like giant collection of series where I have all of the books and I haven't started any of them. So I have like very daunting TBRs of like entire series, which is the same with this next series, which is another box set. And this is Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters, which is a trilogy. I've seen a lot of people talking about Daughter of Smoke and Bone. This is by Lainey Taylor. And I don't know what the name of this series is. I, I legitimately don't know very much about this series. All I know is that I hear this first one being talked about all the time. Everybody's reading it. And I legitimately, I don't know the premise. I don't know if it's like contemporary romance, if it's paranormal, if it's sci-fi, if it's, I, I have nothing. If you have been watching from the beginning, then you've seen my pop vinyl collection, some of my unboxings for my pop vinyls, which I love. They're all over my shelves. And right here, you'll see I have Sarah and the Worm and I have Jareth. And then behind me here, I've got Ludo and Hoggle are hanging out back there. I love my pops. I'm addicted to the labyrinth, severe addiction to the labyrinth. I took my niece this year for the anniversary of The Labyrinth to the movie theater and I saw myself for the first time in the movie theaters, The Labyrinth, which was phenomenal. I went to a friend's birthday party recently and one of her friends that I had not met before, it was like her neighbor, I hadn't met them yet, she let me know that she was going to go to cos, she was going to cosplay as Jareth and she learned how to do that like rotating crystal ball trick and then proceeded to get it from her house and do it for me all night long because I couldn't stop watching it. There's another version of him which is exclusive to Hot Topic where he's dressed up in his like silver purple robes and he's got the crystal balls and I wanted that one as well. So I ordered it 
and this is what it came in, which is not like the original Funko box. The label on it says Funko, but, ah, uh, he's in here. I was worried that that box was gonna be too little. Like, why is it in one box and then a secondary box and then a third box? Like, it feels so excessive. Anyway, this is the Hot Topic exclusive Jareth. I now officially have all of the options. So I have Jareth with his staff. I've got Sarah and the Worm. I have Hoggle, I have Ludo, and now I've got the second Jareth. And I, <sighs> it makes my heart so happy. All right, I'm gonna open it up because I know some people don't open these and they leave them closed. I don't, I wanna see them. I don't necessarily play with them, but I wanna see them. And they make my heart happy and I'm gonna put them out on my shelf anyway. So I'm gonna open them up and show you because now I have the complete collection of all of these little guys and I love them so much. He's got his crazy spiky hair. He's got his necklace on. He does have his crystal ball over here and then he's wearing his cape. Can you even? I love him. I love him, I love him so much. I'm gonna put him back here with my other Jareth. So that the two of them can sit there and look crazy menacing together. Like how awesome are they? Oh, I love them. Okay, so in here is a book that I do not own yet and I don't know how I don't own it because again, labyrinth and obsession. But after going to the 30th anniversary movie of The Labyrinth and seeing, like before the movie started, they had about 20 minutes, 25 minutes of like behind the scenes, Jim Henson kind of information, the filming of the movie, stuff like that, that really, really interests me. And I decided that it was time to go ahead. Oh my God, you guys, this isn't it. Okay, well, there's more books coming because this isn't what I thought I got. I got this like amazing special edition hardcover of The Labyrinth with like notes and drawings and illustrations from Jim Henson and like movie plot, uh, like his movie notes, like journal entries from Jim Henson as well as like the story of The Labyrinth. And I ordered that and I thought that's what this was and it's not. So I have more books coming. So maybe I will have to do like a secondary haul because I'm not gonna be able to hold this video off forever. But, um, yeah, spoiler alert, I got that and I can't wait. I cannot wait to show you guys. But in the meantime, I've got Jareth and Sarah and the Worm all hanging out back there. And I'll show you what I did get in this box from Barnes and Nobles. And it is Lux Consequences. So this is the second half, the second, the, like the last two stories. This is Opal and Origins plus the first chapter of Opposition. So maybe this series isn't over if there's another spoiler chapter. But this is the special collector's edition with bonus material. I have the first part of this book where it's like the other half of like a chick's face so the way that I have the Lux series is in these like really big double bound two book sets and I figured it didn't make sense for me to buy like all four of the books to complete a collection I might as well get the collector's edition for the second half of the series so now I have the first four books in the Lux series and I haven't read any of them. I legitimately keep buying and finishing series before I even start them and know that I like them, but I figure I should have the complete series. I need like a TBR of just like the beginning of series. Or you know what, I've got a video coming up soon. It'll probably maybe be up by the time this goes up with like my uncertain reads. Leave me all of your advice. I'll link it here if it's already live. Just go leave me your advice. I need it clearly because book problems. So that is the last part of the haul that I'm going to put into this particular video. Thank you for tolerating the change of filming location and angles and outfits and makeup because I just wanted to add these in and get them included in that last haul. And while I'm editing it, I'll like add up the total number of books that I bought and leave it in this region or something because it was a lot. I got a lot of books. No regrets. I am very excited about all these books. Let me know down below which one you would be more excited for. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <music>